everybody, it's Emily from ARG Schooling and today I'm going to talk about teaching your child to read. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I used with my children. Um, I've taught all almost all four of my children to read. My youngest is still in the process of learning, so we're almost there. For my older children, I used Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons, which I packed away somewhere and cannot find. Um, that program was great for two of the three of them. The, one of my twins had a hard time with it, and my youngest actually had a really hard time with it, so it works with some kids wonderfully. Not all of them. <laughs> so. I actually just purchased this book, The Reading Lesson, which is Teach Your Child to Read in 20 Easy Lessons. And we are about, I don't know, I think we're ha almost all the way through lesson four in this. And this is just a much better program, I think. The, it, the thing that I found difficult with Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons, and I would show it to you if I had it nearby, but it's packed. But, um, they make the letters look strange, or they attach letters together, and they make certain letters bigger than others just to make it like easier for them to know which ones say what. And for some kids, that little bit of code just makes it that much easier, and then they can easily slide right into regular print. Some kids have a hard time with that. So this book, I think, is just so much more straightforward. The words look regular, there's no strange lettering, and it just it's just so much easier, I think, for my youngest. Um, I really like this program so far. It's, it's really well done, and I like that it's a nice mix. It's not just read a bunch of sentences. So for example, for say lesson three, you're focusing on the sounds for the letter G, the letter E and TH, those are the, the focus sounds, and you go over those in lots of different ways, and there's nice pictures to aid the, the child as they're learning, and they do lots of just practicing saying those sounds, and then put them together into different little words or sounds, not necessarily words, and then you move up to words, and then sentences and there's also little um, little game like activities like circling the words that start with th and I don't have my daughter write in it we just ha I just have a point personal preference just in case I needed to resell this I figured we'll not write in it if we can help it but I think we're gonna keep it because it's working really well and then by the end of each lesson they should have those sounds down really well and so far so good so I think this is a really solid program I really really like it and we're gonna work through it over the summer to finish learning how to read and in addition to that other thing that I like to use is the explode the code workbooks these are fantastic I just I love them my older three kids used all of them up through I think book six I, I wanna say it goes up to book eight maybe but we've never used all of them we usually get to, oh, yep, right here on the back. It goes up to book eight, but we've only ever gone through six. And really, after book three, if your child is reading well, you don't really need to continue. But if you want to reinforce phonics skills, these are great for that. Um, the illustrations are kind of cutesy, and some people dislike that. But, but my kids really like the illustrations. They think they're cute. And... Each section is a bunch, is, it's the same exercises over and over. So there's things where you circle the picture that has the sound, where you circle the picture that has the word, and then you write the word. And at the end of each lesson, they have like a quiz where they just give you the picture, and then you have to write the word all by yourself. My kids love that. It's like a spelling test. I really like those books for phonics reinforcement. Now, as for, for readers, start with Bob books, and I can't find all of them, but I had, we're packing up all the books right now, because we're going to be getting 
brand new bookshelves put in, so all my books are, are packed. So I had to go hunting and I found this. So Bob books are fantastic. Each set, and this is set two, comes with um, these little adorable books. They're very small. And each story is very, very simple with one brief sentence per page. And they're short, they're like maybe 15 pages long at the most. And they're just, it's very, very satisfying for very early readers to finish a whole book. So I really love Bob Books for that purpose. It just gives them that extra boost of confidence that I'm reading an actual book. In addition to the Bob Books, I really love the Piggy and Elephant series by Mo Willems, and Mo Willems is just the most brilliant of children's authors. I just love these books so much. I love that they're very simple. There's very, very little actual text. The whole story is told in little dialogue bubbles, but the real beauty of these books is the illustrations. He put so much emotion into these characters and so like look <laughs> it's just they're just so great and they're hilarious and my kids love them even my teens my teens like to read these so we do these as um, read aloud sometimes but I really like these for early readers because like I said there's very little actual writing it's very simple text it's there's a few difficult words here and there but for the most part they're really easy to read and these are just super fun the next step up after that my kids have all loved Danny and the dinosaur this, this is just one of those old-fashioned sweet little readers that appeals to kids who doesn't want to find a dinosaur and befriend it and then go on a little adventures and I think there's more in the series but I, I don't remember I, I think we only own this one but I think there's a couple more that we've gotten from the library but um but these are it's just great and it's very simple Oops. there's very simple text with e on each page there's not a lot this is great for that next step after Bob books I also really love the Little Bear books. Little Bear is just like one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> These are just so sweet and old-fashioned and I just I love them. I love the cartoon too. So if your child already knows the cartoon at all, they're gonna really like reading the books. And these are a little bit more text, so these are sort of the next step up, but the text is very simple. So it's not difficult to read, it's just there's more text. So when your child is ready for a little bit more, but they're not really ready to delve into more difficult reading, then Little Bear is great for that. And we also, at, after the, once they're at the Little Bear stage, they can also handle Amelia Bedelia, who is just hilarious. And it's really fun to, to read all of her mess-ups. And her these, these are just really silly stories. But again, there's a little more text per page. So, and some of the wording is a little bit more complicated, but these are just really silly fun stories and again, very satisfying to read such nonsense. And on that same line would be Dr. Seuss. A Cat in the Hat is somewhere in the same range as like the Little Bear. It's a little more text per page, but it's still really simple to read. Fox and Socks though is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> My kids like for me to read this generally because apparently I do it best, but it's fun for them to read too, and you can't go wrong with Dr. Seuss. And when they're just on the verge of being comfortable with, with reading and almost ready for chapter books, that's when we do Frog and Toad. Frog and Toad books are just the best. They're hilarious, but they're really witty. Arnold Lobel is great for that sort of thing. It, they're just really well done silly stories and also we have Owl at Home which is awesome but packed. I can't find it. And um, I want to see Mouse Tales. Is that Arnold Lobel too? I think. And those are all about 
about the same difficulty level as Frog and Toad. And then when they are ready for chapter books, one of the first chapter book series we do is the Magic Treehouse set. And these are probably, most people call this twaddle. And I would agree to a point, I don't read these out loud because they just, they don't read out loud well at all. They're very stilted and it's very much early reader-ish quality. But these are great because they give them all kinds of background information to want to learn more about. They lead you on little rabbit trails. My kids have gone on to learn more about things like the Titanic and ancient Greece and Rome and um, pirates, knights and castles, mummies. There's just so many little rabbit trails you can go on. And they do produce, um, the same author has research guides that are a little bit more meaty and have a lot more information. My kids have gone through these. My older three have read all of them, I think. Um, my youngest isn't quite ready for this yet, obviously. She's just starting out, so I'm sure, though, she's going to get into these very soon. And after they've re read this series, they're ready to move on to all kinds of other books. And there's really, they're ready to move ahead in reading. So those are the books that I use to teach my children to read. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you use any of these resources for your children? And what are your favorite go-to readers? I'd like to hear about them. Share down below in the comments and we'll talk about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.